Alright, Donuts and Donuts, I am here at Treo's Coffee and Donuts with the man, the lit, the legend himself, Danny Treo here. And I'm excited, Danny. Thank you Do so you much know what this here. means? This means the Duke of Donuts showed up at Treo's Coffee and Donuts. This puts us on the map, ladies and gentlemen. Highland and Santa Monica Boulevard. The Duke of Donuts. Could you tell me a little bit about your passion behind the shop and why you wanted to do donuts? Well, you know, first of all, I love the police and uh, they seem to show up. <laughs> we always, uh, me and my daughters always try to make donuts, but it's like, it takes a, <laughs> I, got a, I got a chef back there named Diana who's awesome at it, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's, uh, I love donuts. They should also check out, you actually have some other stuff too. You have a taco joint also, oh, yeah. right? We have a Trejo's Tacos on La Brea between Pico and Olympic on Sycamore. And then we have Trejo's Cantina on Coenga between Hollywood and Sunset, right on Selma. And then we're opening up a Trejo's Cantina in Pasadena at the Pasadena Playhouse next month. And then we're going to open up um, Trejo's Tacos at the uh, USC Village. Oh my so, goodness. Hey, all you students, wow. eat tacos, make you smarter. All that crap about taking your teacher an apple and take her some tacos. Many of you may not know this, but Danny Trejo is a talented actor and he's been in the industry for so, so long. And there's so many fans out there, but for the ones who don't, you should check out his work. But for those who don't know, Danny, Someone who came from acting, why pursue going into the food industry in general? Is this something when you were younger growing up, you're like, you know, I want to be a chef well, someday? No, I, I, you know, it's like I've always loved food. And my mom, my mom was a gourmet cook. Oh, wow. But in the 50s, you would make gourmet meals at the first of the month. But by the end of the month, you were pulling stuff out of the cupboard. You know what I mean? Uh, mixing boxes together and stuff. Like that. But she would come up with these elaborate dinners and I, I, Mom, what is that? I never just eat it. You know? And it was delicious. So me and her would always joke about starting a restaurant. But my dad was kind of like the Mexican Archie Bunker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time we would talk about a restaurant, he would, hey, we have a kitchen right there, okay? He said, get in there and make a blue plate special, you know? And so, uh, when they passed away, I, I was working on a movie called Badass, and the director, is Craig Moss, we used to always eat different meals, mm -hmm. and the producer, Ash, he saw that I love food. He said, Danny, why don't you open a restaurant? Jokingly, I said, Trails Tacos. So, we, uh, we did Badass, we did Badass 2, then we did Badass on the Bayou. When I did Badass on the Bayou, he came to me with a business plan and said, here, Danny, check this out. And I, I looked at it, I showed it to my agent and my secretary, Mary Matico, and agent, Gloria Hosa. And uh, two really smart women, they, they said, hey, this is the only business plan that anybody's brought you that you don't have to put up $500. That's awesome. They're telling you, yeah, it was a good deal, so we opened up Trails Tacos, and boom, celebrity-wise, it became a hit. But a lot of celebrities have tried to open up restaurants in Los Angeles, and they've died because they think they can just live on the celebrityism alone. You've got to have good food. Absolutely. You've got to have good food. So we opened up Trails Tacos. We put a gluten-free menu, a vegan menu, a regular menu. Okay. You know, and, yeah. and so, so a lot of people started showing up. A lot of it return business, return business. When we open up Trails Cantina, the same thing. And I've worked with a lot of autistic children, and they have said that autistic children don't do good with gluten. Really? Yeah, gluten's not good for them. Wow. So I we know took that. out gluten on some of the, we got a gluten free menu, and we're finding out that a lot of people are coming with their kids. And people have told me this is the only place. We can bring our children and the whole family can eat this because awesome. you have a variety, especially in the food. I mean, in the industry, the movie industry, there's 10 of you, you want to go eat and, well, I can, you know, I'll get a salad. Or, yeah. So we fixed everybody. Wow. Just out of curiosity, about what age did you and your mom, like, kind of well, start getting on this? 10, 11, 12. Wow. Years ago. Talk to my mom all the time about restaurants, and, and but it was just an idea. But you know, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't even get into the movie business till I was 40. In the first five years of my career, I never even had a name. 
And I, and I remember, like, I just followed you a little bit myself, and I remember you, you had trained Eric Roberts, I yeah, believe, right, yeah. to be a boxer. Because you, you yourself... You runaway train. Runaway train, exactly. Because you yourself, didn't you train? You were, yeah, you were a title holder. Lightweight and welterweight champion of every penitentiary I was in. Yeah, yeah it was like... <laughs> no, that's amazing. You, I, I just find it very amazing to see someone come from somewhere and a low start and then move up and, and really change so much and bring so much good to the world. So I really, really value that. So thank you for doing that, Thank Danny. you, man. And you know what? With God, anything's possible. Absolutely. <laughs> Bro. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And I'll definitely be coming by and checking out all the other come shows. But, <laughs> so thank you so much. And my donuts and donuts. Oh, good, yeah, yeah camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone gets the two good donuts. Cool. Be sure to visit uh, Trejo's many different wonderful little restaurants he's got going on, including Trejo's Coffee and Donuts. The possibilities are endless with this man. Keep a lookout. He's going to be taking over the food empire soon, all right? And check out my other stuff on, on uh, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. It's all over the place. Anyway, Danny, thank you. Thanks, y'all.